EES, which is pronounced ease, is an acronym for Engineering Equation Solver. The mathematical description of many interesting engineering problems involves ordinary differential equations, or ODEs. In some cases, these ODEs are sufficiently simple that an analytical solution can be derived, but in most cases that's not possible and therefore numerical solutions are required. EASE provides internally the tools to do the numerical integration required to solve an ordinary differential equation. So let's start by looking at a very simple example of a first order ODE that is simple enough that we can solve it both analytically and also numerically. So the ODE is given here and the initial condition for the ODE is that y must be equal to zero when t time is equal to zero. So first we'll derive an analytical solution and that will provide us with a basis for comparison uh, to the numerical solution that we'll eventually get to. So the, uh, the analytical solution is obtained by uh, separating uh, the equation. So we separate it so that the y stuff is on the left and the time stuff is on the right. And then we need to integrate it from time equals zero, where y equals zero, to uh, an arbitrary time and an arbitrary y. And this integration is made easier by defining this variable w and uh, the differential of w, so dw, and we'll substitute w and dw into the integral, and uh, we'll get this integral here, which is uh, pretty easy to integrate. So we carry out the integration, and uh, here we have now an implicit solution for y as a function of time. Uh, we can solve this equation uh, explicitly to get y as a function of time, which we enter into E's and then um, it's pretty easy to generate a, a parametric table and a plot. So this is the solution to that ODE. So now let's move on to solving the same ODE numerically. So there is an iterative second order numerical integration routine uh, that optionally uses an adaptive step size and that is provided with ease and it can be accessed most easily using the equation-based integral command. There's another form of the integral command uh, that is referred to as the table-based integral command, uh, which we'll describe in a subsequent video. The equation-based integral command requires four arguments, and it allows an optional fifth argument, as shown here. So the four arguments that are required are the integrand, so this is the ease variable or expression that we're trying to integrate, uh, var name here is the integration variable, and then lower limit and upper limit are the limits of the integration. And then this last uh, optional argument, step size, provides the duration of the uh, time step or the, uh, the integration variable step to be used uh, in the integration. If, if the step size argument is not provide, provided, then a, an adaptive step is taken, uh, and, and that will be covered in a subsequent video. Using the integral command uh, is usually a two-step process. And the first step is to enter the state equations, which provide the integrand uh, that must be integrated. So it's important to remember that the integral command expects that there is a system of equations in the equations window that will, that will uh, when provided with the value of the dependent variable and the integration variable, provide the time rate of change of that dependent variable. And that is, again, going to be our integrand. So uh, Ease is going to eventually automatically manipulate this system of equations in order to accomplish the integration and move through each time step. But with this in mind, it's incredibly useful to begin the process of using the integral command by first just specifying some set of values for the dependent variable and the integration variable and then verifying that given that set of values the equations in the equations window are capable of computing the derivative or the integrand. So for this problem it's pretty easy. The first step is going to be to set some arbitrary value of the dependent variable which for us is y and the integration variable, which for us is time. So I'm going to set y equals 0 and time equals 0. And then I need to make sure that I can calculate that integrand. So the integrand for us is dy dt. That's what we're going to integrate through time. So in this case, I just have to enter the ODE, which I've done here. And if I hit solve, you can see that it faithfully um, predicts that dy dt is equal to 0. So at this point, I know that if I have a value of y and I have a value of time, 
I can get a value of dy d time. And then it's going to be possible now to go on to the second step of the process, which is to actually carry out the integration. So to carry out the integration, we first have to comment out the arbitrary values of y and time uh, that we used here to test the computation. And instead, we'll let Ease's integral function control these variables uh, for the numerical integration. So the solution to the ODE is given by this integral, where um, y initial equals 0 is the initial condition. And then we're integrating from time equals 0 to our simulation time. Um, <coughs> In this case, the integrand is dy dt, and the integration variable is t. So if I want to cast this in the form of that integral command, we need to um, replace the integrand with the variable dy dt. That's what we're integrating forward through time. We need to replace var name here with the variable t, or time. And then lower limit is 0, and upper limit is t sim, which is the total duration of time that we want to simulate. Step size is going to be dt, which is uh, the specified duration of the time step. And again, we don't have to specify that, but we will uh, for this case. <coughs> so we're not going to use any array variables or duplicate loops. We don't need any of that for the numerical integration. And when we're using the integral function, and, and the elimination of those things allows much larger problems to be solved and improves the computational speed. In order to accomplish the in numerical integration, what Ease is going to do is adjust the value of the variable t from 0 to t sim in increments of, of dt, or 0 0.1 seconds. And at each value of time, Ease is going to iteratively solve all the equations in the equations window that directly or indirectly depend on time. For this example, then, the process is going to result in the variable y being evaluated at each value of, of time. And when the solution converges, the value of the variable time is going to be incremented and the process is going to be repeated until the variable time finally becomes t sim, which is our, our total duration of the simulation. And uh, that will be the conclusion of the process. And the result then is going to be shown in the solution window. So the solution window here is going to show the value of all the variables at the very end of the integration process. So this is the result of the integration, where y is equal to its final value. It's usually interesting to know not just the final value of y, but actually the trajectory of the solution. So what is y as a function of time during the process? And this information can be recorded uh, by including the dollar integral table directive. So the format of the dollar integral table directive is shown here. Uh, where a var name is the integration variable, and then this list of variables x, y, and z are just variables that you are uh, also interested in, in keeping track of. So um, the colon here, uh, followed by the parameter step, that's optional. If a value is provided for a step, and then the integration variables and, and all the variables that you list here will be reported in the integral table at increments of the integration variable specified by this value step. If you, if you don't include that value, then it'll just include uh, every single time step in, in the integration table. So the ease code that was used thus far can be modified just a little bit to generate an integral table uh, that contains the results of the numerical simulation. Uh, this, so using this command here, so you can see the integration variable is time. And then the other variables that I'm interested in, in keeping track of is y, which is my numerical solution, and then this y analytical, which is my analytical solution. So um, if I solve now, what you'll see is that the, uh, the first column in the integral table contains uh, values of the integration variable time, and then the remaining columns contain the values of the other variables that I specified, so in this case y and y analytical. And because I did not specify a, a step, um, it's going to re record, you can see it has recorded every single time step that it took for the simulation. Right? So it's every 0.1 second since that's the step size that we used. If I, for some reason, only wanted to um, record the results in the integral table every 0.2 seconds, I would just have to modify the dollar integral table directive uh, with a colon 0 0.2 after the time. And when I solve now, you'll see that um, it's only giving me answers every 0.2 seconds, right? And it's important to note uh, that the step size 
uh, that I use to record stuff in the integral table if I specify it is completely independent of the step size that's actually used in the simulation, right? So it's just sort of uh, interpolating the results uh, so that only a subset of the results are actually recorded in the integral table. All right, so we can um, use the integral table to make a plot. So here I'm going to plot the, uh, the solution, the numerical solution and the analytical solution as a function of time. And you can see the, the line is the analytical solution, and then these dots are the, um, the numerical solution obtained with the integral command. And they agree pretty well. Obviously, they would agree better and better if I were to um, reduce that step size. And you can, you can look at things like the global error uh, as a function of step size, and if you do that, you would find that this is a second-order technique that Ease is using. Okay, this is one of a series of tutorials that is meant to describe the operation of the Ease software. If you'd like to get more information about Ease, obtain the software, or access more of these tutorials, please go to the website fchartsoftware.com. These tutorials are excerpted from the book Mastering Ease, uh, which can also be obtained from this website.